Hey friends, this is going to be a lesson on uh, part one lesson on Hickory Snow by Jake Workman. Hey, before we get started, please feel free to check out my Patreon page. Link is in the description. There you can find more lessons, tabs, that sort of thing. We can connect more one-on-one, -on -one, uh, ask me direct questions on some of the lessons, or uh, we can work together. Uh, anyway, feel free to check that out. So jumping right into this lesson. So the first note, we're starting on the 7th fret B string, hammering on to the 9th fret. Right after that, we are taking our first finger, and we're on the 7th fret of the high E string, hitting that and pulling off. So, okay. So, uh, Okay, cool. So we got, now we're going 7th fret B string, and now middle finger on the 8th fret on the G string, hitting that note. Now we're lifting up and playing open B string. So, okay. One more time. Okay, after that we hit an open, E string, followed by uh, this little chord. It's kind of like, think of an A chord here, but we're just uh, using, I'm using my middle finger on the D string, seventh fret, first finger on the sixth fret of the G string. So we got, actually I only hit this here. That's, that's how I personally do it, is uh, I just hit the first note right there with my middle finger and then strum. So I got... Right? Okay, let me play it. Okay, now how I choose to play this is from here, I then hammer on, I'm keeping this position. I then hammer on with my ring finger um, on the uh, from the sixth fret to the eighth fret, followed by open B and opening. So we got okay, one more time, and that combined sounds like this. All right, so if you've got that far, the next part, a little, uh, thank goodness, it's a little bit the same. We've got all that's the same on the second part, except now from here we go uh, to this position. Again, we're thinking of a, it's a B chord we're playing over. We're thinking of a B chord. Uh, this position here, my middle finger is on the eighth fret on the G string and the seventh fret on the B string. And I'm just literally kind of plucking it. If you hit the E string or not, it's up to you. So that B part section is like. One more time, B part. Now the A and B together. Ah, sorry. Okay, I'm gonna play that one more time. Next part, a little more repetition. Okay, from here, uh, kind of like we've been doing, we hammer on to the uh, from the sixth fret to the eighth fret on the G string, and now we're going to hit open E, and we're going to hammer on with our pinky on the seventh fret of the of the E string. So we're going open E. Okay, sorry, like that. Okay, and then we're gonna move a little further here before I go over it. Now we're going to play the fourth fret on the high E string. With our pinky, we're going down the seventh fret on the B string. And then hitting another open E. Okay, so that kind of sounds, that, that third section here sounds like One 
sometime. Moving from here, we are on the fourth fret on the B string. Okay, and we're hitting that, followed by sixth fret on the G string to open B. Okay, so we got. Okay, so that third section again. Um, sorry. It's hard to play it slow. <laughs> okay, now we go down the neck, and we're now thinking of like an e, A chord to an E chord type of transition. And we're going first finger on the first fret G string. Okay, hammering on to the second fret. And now, pulling off, okay, so what that sounds like, it's easier to play it. Let me see here, so we're doing that number. Okay, so the whole third little section there. Okay, so the whole thing that we've learned so far together. And then it just repeats. Um, that is part one. I'm going to work on part two here very, very soon and have it uploaded. But hey, let me know so far, how's this going? Is this too much? Could I be more specific? Do you need tabs? Uh, constructive criticism is greatly appreciated. But I'll see you for part two.